Uh, uh, yeah, piloting the ship doesn't stop you from guns. knowing things. Those are big ships. Yeah, they're not to scale. I'm just showing you what's in No, I just mean the classes. <laughs> yeah, there's two cruisers and, and three economic class. I thought those were bigger than cruisers, by the way. Stop I only hitting have... the fucking ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, that chaos ship is feeling a little bit uh, squeamish Drunk. now. <laughs> it's, it's a ancient ship, obviously. <laughs> Everyone on board is just not happy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gravity! <laughs> Someone dug a little hole in that in my gravity. Follow the four. Uh, follow the something. Can't quite read the last word. Paul, follow the I, pal. Pal. Pam. Yeah. You could be following pa. the Pam. Follow, follow the, the pa. Or... It looks like follow the poor. Yeah. Well, if the doodler wants to re-correct it so we can actually read it, that'd be generous. Anyway, okay. yeah, the, there is a squadron of iconic Aglova and the iconoclasts flying around. Okay. And two cruisers. I hope that the cruisers are far away. Um, they're kind of moving around in the shipyard. Well, if we're running silent... Can we get through the... Thingy field silently though would be my immediate question. Oh yeah, fair enough. As soon as we activate the, <laughs> yeah, you're probably gonna be lit up like Christmas cakes. Like Christmas. Christmas. You put lights on your cakes. Candles. Why not? I I'm not aware of it. Cake. I'm. What, what do you mean cake? Is this this weird thing? <laughs> yeah. Pudding candles. Fine. That's fine. But at this Christmas, they're not. Oh, uh, no, it's just for baby Jesus' birthday. It's actually more like in Saturnalia. Mm, well, um, about those those ships in the graveyard bit, they are just cruisers. Yeah, just cruisers. Not anything bigger than that. Okay, that's fine. It's just the models do no. not look like cruisers. battleships. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's a Carnage class cruiser. Oh, nice. And I'm not saying they actually are, I'm just saying the, I think the image is either that or slaughtered. It's definitely a cruiser. Chaos yeah. cruisers look too similar. Yeah, okay. that's, the, that's why I've just used one, because Chaos cruisers all kind of look the same. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we might want the shields uh, character sheet, or the ship sheet up, the stat sheet. Oh, I'm sure. I thought I shared that already. Nope. But it is spinning pretty well. Um, I can go, it's not me. It's not me. I'm pounding off the patch pad in that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume it's Zeb, just because. <laughs> oh, just one second. Oi, cat. <laughs> You're not going to shut up. Go fetch. You're playing fetch with a cat? You can, yeah. some cat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cats, cats love chasing things. Yeah. Especially when it's a, a, a ball full of food. Oh. Or oh, it's <laughs> Yep. I think that the cat's going to follow it. Yeah. Uh, and any weird rustling Right into the maw of chaos. Yeah. <laughs> the cat will follow it into the maw yeah, of chaos. If yeah, for this cat food, this cat would follow into the maw of chaos. So, would have turning on the thingy so that we could get through the thingy have made our thingy stop being thingy and we could be seen. Um, depends how quickly you turn it off after you get out the because you know, you're not gonna be able to detect anything through the um riptide. So it really depends on how quickly you turn it off after <coughs> you. Um. Hmm. How accurately would we be able to tell when we'd left them? Not greatly. Then I'm guessing we'd leave it on for a while. Yeah, yeah. This is I'm basically guessing. brinkmanship. You'll have to uh, do the test for this. Probably intelligence test. 
Oh, Zeb. Hi. Uh, would the robot be at all useful Does anybody have Gamble? <laughs> gamble <laughs> would be a fantastic try. use, isn't it? Uh, yes, Tross probably would. I considered picking it up, but I didn't. Sorry. I, I could have Gamble. In fact, by now I could have Gamble plus 20 on it, if I really wanted it. <laughs> Do you have any experience you haven't spent? How about I just use logic? No, unfortunately not. Um, Dash doesn't seem like the gambling pipe anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. Um. I guess we should show gamble or something. Does anyone want to? Well, if it's intelligence. Uh, Okay, well, what kind of check would it be then? Would it have to be gamble, or can we not try and use something else? No, you can use anything you can think of. Uh, 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 Logic. Appropriate? Applicable. Applicable. Concealment, okay. maybe? Uh, not so much concealment, I don't think. No, well, it's hiding. You're just hiding the ship. What about um, scrutiny? Scrutiny? Swim. Yeah. <laughs> Swim. <laughs> <laughs> wrangling. Wrangling? If it, wrangling? Space How wrangling. There is a skill called wrangling. Yes, well, yeah, I have space. it. I mean, yeah. if, if you want Start me to take Napster. some ropes, get out on top of the ship and just start... I could try it. I don't think it would do anything. Um, <laughs> well, it would be sort of funny to see you get on top of the ship, but yeah. Do you have tracking? Uh, I do have I tracking, but not... Great. Mm. No. Just someone come up with something that seems vaguely plausible. Because I don't have anything relevant, I don't think, at all. Yep, I can do either no Stella if it's only a 47, if. I mean, it seems like I give you a plus good. 10 to it, but other than that. Yep. And with a. Maybe in conjunction um, with an Auspex scan, trying to... Yeah, no, it's not that. It's, it's <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of it more as a thing that you... It's something you know a lot about, so you would be able to uh, know at which point we would become visible. <laughs> <laughs> Navigation Stellar would probably be the best, yeah. You can I'll roll that. <laughs> I'll which means I get 10 under because Bash is half rigged. Yep. You should be able to figure out quite easily when to flip the switch and go back into one silent mode. We'll see how I, I don't flick the switch. Ooh, that's bad. So, the Iconic class are going to start moving towards you. They're not coming in at high speed, uh, but they are, you know, definitely heading in your direction now. No, 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 we come in peace. Bluff <laughs> <laughs> <Love> check. <clears throat> no, there, there's no point to the bluff because it doesn't matter if we're telling the truth on that one or not. They don't. They wouldn't care. No, no point actually. Especially if we actually said "nanu nanu," we come in peace. <laughs> That might be the code phrase for today. I don't That'd be kind of funny if it actually was. No, there's a gamble check. I was thinking, yeah. They might not detect you, they might just be, you know, searching the alien. They might just do this periodically. I think it's more that they notice something off but don't know it's a ship yet. If we try and remain running silent, then we move slowly. If we announce ourselves, we move quickly. The real question is, are the cruisers far enough away that we could mop up with these? Oh yeah. Three and one. Run silent and then uh, get way the hell away from where we are before the cruisers get here. 
Oh, oh. Probably. They don't agree with my kind of busts. Babies. But I did. I come across together. As in, are they moving single unit? Um, yeah, they're coming across in a formation, yeah. Because really, if you think about it, we don't have to fight the cruisers. They're, for all intents and purposes, a time limit on our operations here rather than being a thing we actually have to deal with personally. Because if we deal with the things that can actually keep up with us, we can just draw the cruisers way the hell out of position and then just pull an Ender's game. Yeah, then we could just it's more than put the like engines on go fast and then later than the last because the cruisers are big and slow. Mm. We're not fast, remember. Mm. And in fact, if those are chaos cruisers, they could well be as fast as we are. Yeah, we're certainly not faster than the iconoclasts. And we're nowhere near as fast as the iconoclasts. Well, no. What I'm saying is, if they are coming straight at us, and we're going to have to fight them, yeah. burn them down as fast as we can, then pull the cruisers way out of position. And just burn as hard as we can. Remember, we have Macarius. That's an advantage that they don't have. That is true. In terms of I love how I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, um, yeah, that. I don't know. Well, you're the one lot. munchkin of the group, apparently. <laughs> oh, I'm considered the uh, turning point for the ship, sort of thing. Well, well, well you, you do give us like a, really a ridiculous amount of speed. Faster. That's yeah, what you're, you that's what you're leaving implants to us, isn't it? Well. They're like nitrous for the ship. <laughs> what? Pretty much. That's how it works. Right. We ask him, can we make the ship go faster? He makes the ship go faster. Just pushing the red line as hard as we possibly can. Yeah. <sighs> wow. So can we just steam towards them and blow them up now? Is that uh, the plan? Oh, I think we might have to. Yeah, I kind of class are fast. They are a lot faster than we are, so I mean, especially if we're running silently, we're moving slowly so they can definitely catch up with us. And if mm. we announce ourselves and move as fast as we can, I don't know if we can outrun them relentlessly. So you have to do some decent hiding. Yeah. Yeah. It might be quicker to just annihilate them. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I like how we're also certain. <laughs> well, I'm not saying we're going to do it without problem, but yeah, this is what I'm saying. I don't think it's a good idea to fight two cruisers directly afterwards. Instead, we should give them the run around. Yeah, I mean, at least with the cruisers, there's the asteroid field we can potentially hide in. Yeah, I was thinking we'll, we'll deal with these little the iconoclasts and then use the asteroid field and reposition somewhere and, and move silently and then head deeper into the system. <coughs> we can move from the asteroid field and then slip into the ship graveyard and then yeah, slip into the other asteroid field. It would be a lot easier. We're, right, we're crossing a big open space. Let's get to it then. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm going to yeah, start preparing my nav stellars then while we, like, for the, all the asteroid fields while we start the ship. Like, we, once we wrap silent running, you know, to be at the helm. Yep. I can we go can start have. charting those asteroid fields <laughs> with a bit of spare sensor bandwidth. Why is Trusk going? Because he turned the combat tracker on. Yeah, he just turned the combat tracker on. I say he's got scrutiny, so he needs to go first anyhow. Because we need to yeah. save the enemy ships. Ow! Yes. Yeah, My neck! Enough. Your neck. Oh, go no. back. I'll also mute the microphone while I go get coffee. <coughs> so. Oh dear. <laughs> oh really? Dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Am I allowed to faint in this <laughs> it's, it's It appears yeah, that Bash has, um, Bash has borrowed uh, Trusk's initiative dice. He's borrowed mine, actually. My initiative modifier is now a oh, plus no, 12, by the way. 
Which means I'll be rolling 13s most days. Okay. Um, am I allowed to fight? And if you can roll. I'm not sure. Too. Ooh, What's with the 10? That was me rolling initiative. Why are we all there? Sorry. No, this is for ship combat. Mm -hmm. Ah, fuck it. Worth a try. Uh, Wonderful that you rolled the ten, though. What are these days? What are these days? Yes. I'll actually get damn initiative rolls. I can spend a fight point to count as rolling a ten for initiative. <laughs> nice. Well, it's a good time to do it. I am going to do that. <laughs> right. Uh, roll point. I wish I would have known about that. Yeah, I've had plenty of times where my fate points, I had let end this state. Uh, I end with like English. Three. It's spreading. Yes. The inability to speak is spreading. <sighs> I am like the other Kirk now. I accidentally created a six point four terabyte file. What? What? A uh, what? That's yeah. not small. No. Yeah. Nah. I, I got into an argument at work over the um, you know, when, when I said that we'd need six terabytes to, to store the data for a project, they were going, no, 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 no. It was actually seven and a half. <laughs> because that's yeah. so much better. Well, no. It's just like yeah, they asked me at the start of the project, and then two years later, it's like yeah, it was actually seven and a half. See? I was underestimating. It's fine. Ah. Uh, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go for a second. The computer I was working on was at least big enough to handle that file size. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, it didn't actually try and wipe it. It just assigned it. So I could get rid of it quickly. A bit annoying. Seven and two. Six and two. And the last one. Ah, Ooh, one goes before us. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Worth a shot. Um, our crew morale should be 105. At least. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's set at 105. Oh, that one isn't, yeah. Well, it should be 110 because both Bash and I are on the ship. I don't think that can count double, can it? I don't think it, it does. Counts... Really? Oh, fine. Because, <laughs> yeah. Oh. To be honest, I probably never expected two people in the crew to have it, so. I don't know actually, it just says while the character is on board a ship in which you serve, the ship has a plus five bonus to its morale. What's up? For Into the Jaws of Hell. It doesn't say anything about oh. it not working for multiple people. In theory, it could. Yeah. Okay, put you under the Not maybe, like you ever going to go down. Maybe just because, the, you know, the crew are that loyal to him. But yeah, the, the crew have got an extra five. Right. Well, that and and I am a legend of the expanse, so. Well, quite. Yeah. Well, there's a reason the quiz is coming for you, before you. That's not what I meant to say. Not quite right. And no, I I, I, I to am your employer. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, can we get an actual tactical map going up? Oop. Again, I thought I had, but apparently I shared it. <clears throat> Right, and oh, sweet. So, uh, can we kill these iconoclasts really quickly? Well, so you can go We're around. about to find out. Alright, so, iconoclast 1. What kind of speed is an iconoclast now? Really? Well, probably like 30 or something. Yeah, it's a Chaos Destroyer. I'm not exactly shocked, sadly. What's a destroyer? They're pretty fast. 
Chaos enough. ships are even faster than Imperial ones, so yeah, ten seems appropriate. I think the Don't they tend to be thinner armored, though? Yeah, generally. Generally, yes, but better guns as well. <laughs> yeah, they're, gla they're very much glass cannons. Glass cannons with fucking rockets on their back. I think the only thing the only fast thing Chaos ships are Eldar ships. And they're just an entirely different class on their own. Yeah, yeah they have yeah. speed like 15. So. I, I always quite liked that in um, Battlefleet Gothic, that you know, the forces weren't just mirrors. No, it was actually a nice touch. Yeah, you know, Chaos was harder hitting and faster, but Imperial could take the damage. Totally Whereas Eldar, damage. if you've got good gunners, their ships melt like nothing else. Yeah. But if um, you don't have the best gunners, then you can't hit the damn things. And if there are orcs around, then there are just hundreds of buggers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Worldbreaker is the best ship in the entirety of the Rogue Trader books. I will not take any arguments on that one. Is that what? their turn, or are they firing? Uh, they're about to fire, I'm just waiting for you to... Okay. So, first, oh, Dorsal Macro Battery. Okay. Um, let's see if we have any better crew or anything like that. Does it have just like a 40 crew or 30? I was just about to check, I've just lost some page notes in an idiot. It's official. Because if we're going up against a bunch of crack crew members again... <clears throat> well, yeah. you know, we are us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are us, so we can... And we have a crack crew as well. Yeah. And now they've got flames. <laughs> <laughs> Speed detection, armor space, weapon capacity. Does this make the mistake of not actually giving me a crew? Oh, on what? Oh my. Probably. The crew strength on the um, kind of class. I guess you can just make it yourself, just like yeah, 40 well, or something. Yeah, 40. The infidels are 40, so I'll give these guys 40 as well. Alright, so. so they're standard. Yeah, and both of those miss. Shields up. Yep. Weapons online. You sure? Don't have to turn your weapons Shields up, online. weapons online. You know that line, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Thank let's you. just go forward <laughs> seven and then blast the hell out of Iclano class three. I think I've got an first. Sounds about right. Yep. <laughs> Hang on. <I'll... clears throat> So, uh, if we're going to be auspexing it, do you want me to do aid the machine spirits for detection right now? Since I don't uh, think we're going to be doing anything. Let's push on the guns. Anything. I've got an 83. For 83? Yeah. Alright. Um, I... I, I think, think that you... Yeah. That's just a pass. A degree yeah. of success. Oh, yeah. So, we know they're... The, what's the first degree? You. Weapon systems, I think. I thought yeah. that was just a basic one. Something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, I'm having trouble. It's been a while since we've done ship combat. Yeah, starship combat, action. Focused augury. One degree of success. Um, all weapon components. No, not even a single degree. All essential. What? So just all essential or... I got, a, well, I got a, degree a degree of success. Of success. Because I'm rolling against 83, I rolled a 70. So that's oh, 80 that degrees. Is a degree. Yeah. What page is this on? Uh, 217, I think. Yeah, 217. So all essential components except auger arrays and void shields and the weapons. We got the weapons. So, so we got all weapons components, yep. Yep. all essential except auger and void shield. Okay. Hmm. So you've got two dorsal macro uh, batteries. Um, Jovian Drive, Strat of Warp Engine, Gellerfield, Pirate Bridge, Pirate Quarters, and just an L12 life sustainer. Okay. I say just focus all fire to the warp engines and make it blow up. I mean, what could go wrong with that? Us getting caught in the warp. I know, again. right? Again? 
I don't know. Might as well blow off the guns. Yeah. If we get yeah. And they'd have to go through the gravity field again because we get stuck outside it. Six, with the rear merge. Just, um, actually, if we just go forward seven, right? Yeah. I can launch a hit and run, right? Mm hmm. Did we just find anything out about their shields? No. Oh. Okay, then scratch that fine. Um, I would say just go and blast them, and you know, if they survive, then. Yeah. We'll blast them again next time. Then I'll hit him on the markings. <laughs> yeah, alright. So, forward seven, that puts us in there. Would that would they be in Tarka, right, Ark? We would be in our doesn't really matter. Oh. No any... It's their forward arc, so it doesn't really matter. No. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Sorry, no, I forgot we Do we want to turn at all because we're going to have, like, next turn they're going to be behind us and all their friends will be over there, so. Mm, that's a good point, actually. Do you want to say turn 45 degrees to the right or left? I'd say we'd turn uh, 90 degrees to the right. Really? We're in a frigate. We can turn 90 degrees. Yeah, no, but um, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've been worried about a, a kind of fast one getting behind us. Well, they're going to speed right by us anyway, so... Well, they're going to... Be if we turn right and then we go forward, by the time it's their second turn, they could potentially position themselves right behind us. Which I'm not mm. bad. Whereas if we okay. turn 45 degrees, it's a lot harder. True. That is true. Yeah. Shit. I'm not supposed to do that. Not so. 45 degrees, right? I'm saying 45, 45 degrees. That's that's ninety. That's, that's ninety, 90 degrees left. left. <laughs> there we are. I, I yeah. I do science for a living. <laughs> that, that's still ninety degrees. That's still forty-five degrees left. <laughs> You're the other. There left. we go. There we I, go. I am also dyslexic, which doesn't give you the ability to left and right. I thought it was just that you could read better upside down in a mirror or something like that. No, no. No mm. superpowers, unfortunately. Damn. 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 No, that that's autism in very rare cases. That occasionally gives superpowers. <laughs> I can read up to that. <laughs> yeah, I know people get surprised. Bar. It's like, that's upside down, it's easy. But you know what's even easier? Blowing up a kind of class 3. Gunners, <laughs> do your magic. Uh, Alright, yeah. so uh, we got anybody that can aim? Uh, I don't have anything else to do. Point. Who's got, the the best best Who's got the best ballistic skill? Mine's Yo. Uh, effective 63. Effective 73 because I have the talent that gives me the boosting to ship guns. I so only get like 49, so... Um, if Arp does it, I can hover on him as well. Can, well, Shoot can you hover? Because yeah. you're going to hit and run. Yeah, hovering's a free action. Okay, so effective 83. Well, in that case, actually, yeah. if... Aiming's not mandatory with BS like that. Yeah, that's really not something that needs to because, be done. Yeah, no. Yeah. I can give you a pretty degree of success. I can't if we were, do I need to roll for that or just automatically give you I think... I, I, think I, I need to roll perception for it, yeah. I did think you had to roll for that one. Yep, so I'll throw some perception out. Oh, no, nice. you won't. Okay. Make it a pretty degree, huh? Have fun with the shooting. No, yep, will do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. All guns uh, together into a volley. Uh, it's a you short still range. roll them into. Uh, yeah, individually. I'm just saying in yeah, terms two of two rolls. Yeah. Two ballistic still rolls. Yeah. yeah. So let's do the macro cannons. But only one set of armor. Yeah. Well, the macro cannons are hitting. And the last cannons aren't. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? I have three fate points now. If we're going to alpha strike, let's do this properly. That's better. All macro cans and all lasers hit, so that's one critical because I've uh, put them into a volley. Yep. I'll roll that now while I remember. So the crits are three. Two, no, sorry. Two. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a two, so I think that's actually a fire. Oh, maybe. Uh, yeah, fire, I, I thought, was six. No, because you can't fire get a fire. Is five. Fire is five. Two is internal oh. damage. 
Yes. Ah, right. Which we can't do. Cause, oh, no, we know their weapon system, so we'll hold one of them. Mm-hmm. No, is that just hauling, internal or is it damage. Right? It's a damaged component now. Yeah. How many guns do they, they have? Be, Two macro cannon batteries. Yeah. No, damage Are they the exact same? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just the one, one that then. actually has a good range or good firing what, they're the area. They're both dorsal. Same, they? no, they're they're both both dorsal. Yeah, in that case, I will just simply damage an arbitrary one. Yeah. And how many shields does this thing have? 